uh, yet another inconceivable development uh, in, 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 in this time and age. Uh, we want to cross now uh, to uh, Dov uh, Foreman, uh, activist and author of Lily's uh, Promise. Uh, Dov, thank you very much for speaking with us tonight because it was International Holocaust Day just this past weekend. And I cannot even believe I'm going to say those words. Your Holocaust of having grandmother is receiving death and rape threats as we speak. Yes, thank you for having me on today. Good evening. Unfortunately, as you say, we commemorated Holocaust Memorial Day over the weekend on Shabbat. And against the backdrop, we commemorated that we know that the anti-Semitism that led to my great grandmother's mother, youngest sister and youngest brother, but also six million unassumed other innocent Jewish men, women, and children being murdered in the Holocaust did not die with the liberation of the camps in 1945, 79 years ago, but are still very much alive, both on our streets, here in the United Kingdom and the United States and across Europe and across the world today, but also on social media. And as you said, unfortunately, since October 7th, since in Patora, my great grandmother and I have received the most terrible abuse online, including death and rape threats against my great grandmother, a now 100 year old survivor of Auschwitz who has spent the past three years on TikTok educating about her story, over 2.1 million followers. And some of the comments that we wake up to every day are sickening. I open my phone and I can't believe that someone would react to the worst atrocity against Jewish people since the Holocaust by sending my great grandmother the messages that they have been sending. And it really is disgusting. I think that's the only way to describe it. Beyond uh, disgusting, and yet, uh, David, bring this to perhaps the, the root of the problem, a lot of criticism or, or, or talk on how social media giants act or do not act uh, um, to monitor content these past months. H have you uh, 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 filed a complaint? Uh, do you try to um, uh, uh, notify them about this abusive, horrendous contact? Did they do, do anything? Did they even react? Look, it's a mixed picture. Some things they do react to and some they don't. And I've got, thankfully, a great connection with people at TikTok and Instagram, but sometimes there's simply nothing they can do. If the computer says no and that it's not going to be removed, then sometimes they can't override that. And that's ridiculous. I mean, some of the stuff that we're seeing are totally anti-Semitic, totally Holocaust denying and distorting and totally unacceptable. Not, I mean, if you said that in person, you might even get arrested. And so I can't believe that these things are allowed to stay online. The social media companies, the social media barons have so much to do. And at times it feels to me like they care more about the money in, the pocket, in their pockets than their users and the creators like myself. And I can't imagine how kind of much more work they have to do, but also how hard it is for younger Jewish people who don't have a big support network around them, who post one video or post that goes viral. I've been doing this for three years. I'm very used to getting anti-Semitism. But imagine you're a 12 or 13 year old Jewish person here in England who posts a video and it by mistake goes viral. And suddenly you have thousands of anti-Semites commenting on your post and you try and report them and nothing happens. Imagine how lonely that must feel, but also how difficult it must be to react to. So I think I've tried to relay those concerns and those worries to the social media companies as much as possible. But it seems, again, to me like they don't really care so much. Yeah, it's, it's the algorithm that will decide whether it's, it, it, it's kosher or not, um, pun very much intended. Uh, before we let you go, uh, uh, Dov, perhaps an opportunity to underline the importance of, of Holocaust education, especially as, um, you know, we, we thought all those years that it was about d documentation. If only there was more footage, more videos, more uh, proof uh, quote unquote, that the Holocaust happened, then the world will will uh, will see the truth. And yet now uh, we're seeing uh, uh, these uh, atrocious acts uh, uh, documented from every possible angle, and yet uh, um, there's still uh, denial and disbelief, etc. I, as you say, we sit here now 79 years after the Holocaust. There's so much documentation, so many videos on social media, so many lectures about the Holocaust, so many survivors going out to schools and different places of work and of education. And still, we see young people, and not only young people, but predominantly at the moment young people, just denying and not knowing about the true facts of the Holocaust. And I think we're seeing this because of the proliferation of denial, distortion, and anti-Semitism on social media. And it goes back to our previous point, that these companies, the social media companies, especially TikTok, where most young people get their news from, have so much more work to do. And we've seen it since October 7th as well. It's not just about the Holocaust. We've seen Holocaust denial in real time with October 7th denial. The Hamas terrorists who invaded 
Israel on October 7th, filmed everything on the GoPro. Yeah. And still we see people saying it didn't happen. But back to the Holocaust, I think, as you said, it's more important now than ever as the number of survivors dwindle, that we have more young people like myself who use their social media platforms Absolutely. and ensure that people are never forgotten. Absolutely, and uh, it becomes um, clearer and clearer that they will not do it voluntarily, those social media giants, that is, uh, they need to be forced to do it um, and pay a price, literally, until it uh, hurts their pocket. Uh, we will not see any any change. Dov, uh, foreman, activist and author uh, of Lily's uh, Promise, thank you, and thank uh, uh, your uh, uh, great-grandmother on our behalf uh, as well. Thank you very much for speaking with us.